conditions are so dangerous right now that 22 people have died in the Midwest. Local communities are trying to make sure that does not happen here. News Channel 5's Pete Kenworthy joins us live with more on how our most vulnerable residents are keeping cool. Here's Pete. Well, Leon, anytime temperatures are this extreme, before you head out to the pool, like folks are doing here at the Coin Rec Center in Brooklyn, take just that extra time. Take a couple extra minutes, knock on your elderly neighbor's door, make sure they're doing okay. Now, in East Cleveland today, some seniors there were taking advantage of a city service. They were heading to their local senior center. They don't have a pool, but they do have air conditioning. When you see people sharing drinks in the shade or carrying wet rags with them, whether they're young or older, you know it's almost unbearable outside. In East Cleveland, the elderly are moving as fast as they can to get to the Helen S. Brown Senior Center. Inside, it's 71 degrees, still feels warm to some, but it's better than the alternative. You can't sit on the porch and inhale all this heat at our, at our ages. You know, anybody that's a senior, you'll, you'll have a heat stroke. It's true. Listen to Kathy Miller. She normally comes to the center three times a week, but is now here every day because of a heat scare. I almost had a heat stroke in my home. And I didn't know it. I was having a heat stroke until I called my daughter. And I was just woozy and really flush, just sweating. Kathy doesn't have air conditioning in her house, so days like today are brutal. When I moved, I was just getting dizzy. So it looked like the house was just burning up. I had the oven on, it seemed like. And I said, I got to get out of here. She comes here and even gets a ride by the city. It's free for any resident. And whether they come to entertain themselves or be entertained, the best part is they're taking better care of themselves inside. It's a blessing, a big blessing. Yeah, certainly, uh, certainly is a blessing for those folks in East Cleveland. Everyone should check with their local cities to see what's available where they live for their elderly neighbors. Leon, as you know, all it takes is a couple extra minutes, just that couple extra minutes to walk down the street, maybe just next door, knock on the door, and make sure everyone's doing okay in, in temperatures like this. Reporting live in Brooklyn tonight, I'm Pete Kenworthy, News Channel 5. Indeed, Pete. Check on your neighbors, as Pete said. Well, the city of Cleveland has activated its heat preparedness plan. City recreation centers designed as cooling centers are currently open, and residents can visit any of the outdoor city pools Wednesday, Sunday from noon until 8 p.m. Some city playgrounds have spray basins, which are like giant water sprinklers, and they're turned on when the temperatures reach 80 degrees. The city of Cleveland's Department of Aging is seeking donations of new fans to help the elderly survive the heat wave. The fans will be collected tomorrow between the hours of 8 in the morning and 5 in the afternoon in the lobby of 75 Erie View Plaza. That's at East 12th Street near Lakeside. For safety reasons, they want only new donated fans. It was so hot at the Lake County Captains game in East Lake, everyone was drenched. There were about a dozen groups from local camps and at least half of them packed it in to go home. Camp counselor Jennifer Witt says the heat is why they decided to leave, plus the kids were just getting too antsy. All right, let's go everybody back to camp where we're nice and cool in the air conditioning. <laughs> air conditioned camp, that's what you need. The captains won, by the way, 16 to 15 over Quad Cities, and while the fans were hot, just imagine the misery endured by the mascot skipper under all that green fur. <laughs> Even short periods of high temperatures can cause some serious health problems. Doing too much on a hot day, spending too much time in the sun, or staying too long in an overheated car or home can cause heat related illnesses. Here are a few signs to look for an extremely high body temperature, red, hot, and dry skin, and they're not perspiring, rapid, strong pulse, dizziness, and sometimes confusion. If someone you know has any of these symptoms, call immediately for medical assistance while you take measures to help that person cool down. Well, I guess we all love spending the long, sunny days of summer outdoors with our furry companions, our pets, but being over-eager in hot weather can spell danger. News Channel 5's Alicia Cicalone is in the studio right now with more on how to keep your four-legged friends on the safe side. That's right, Leanne. You know, you may work out with your pet, and that little friend of yours could be in some great shape, but in weather like this, they're just like us, and they can really suffer, and in some cases, even die if we don't watch them very carefully. There is a lot of love between Diane and Beamer. He's such a good boy. Such a good boy.
But this bond may not have been created if he wasn't rescued from inside a hot attic bathroom. Just wanted to cry. Just it was so hard to look at him. Beamer was found in an abandoned home in Cleveland. He's only six months old and was left to fend for himself. In the bathtub is where they found him. Um, obviously, without food and water, but in the heat, exactly, is I don't know how he took the heat in the house without ventilation, without fresh air. Diane is a foster mom and volunteer with Dogs Unlimited Rescue. She says she's pretty much seen it all, but Beamer's case is by far the worst. I was afraid to even touch him, thinking a bone was going to break or something. Sharon Harvey with the Cleveland APL wants everyone to remember these important tips about animals and heat so she doesn't ever have to see another beamer. Never leave your pet in the car, even with the windows open or in the shade. It can be fatal. That car will still become an oven. Your dog will still become dehydrated and could suffer heat exhaustion. Next, outdoor and indoor cats still need your help to stay cool. Make sure that they always have access to clear fresh water. Never shave your pet in the summer. Your dog needs that protection from the sun. Dogs can get sunburned. And don't invite them in for a swim in the family pool. The chlorine can actually be toxic. Good information there. And the bottom line about pets and heat, keep them inside as much as possible with food and very fresh water. Everything you want to do to keep cool is what your pet wants too. Live, Alicia Ciccoloni, News Channel 5.